Hi children, welcome to the new lesson, Introduction to Microsoft Access. In this video, we are going to learn what is a database and a need for computer databases. Databases are everywhere. They are hidden behind the tools and services that you use every day. Have you ever wondered where Facebook, Tumblr and Twitter put their data? Yes, it's all stored in a database. Where do Google store the details of pages that they index from the internet? Yes, in a database. Where are the contacts in your mobile phone stored? In a database. Have you ever waited at the doctor's office while the receptionist punched in your information? Or asked a store employee to check their system for a special item? Yes, it's all stored in a database. Databases do most of the work in the information systems that we use every day. So what is a database? Is it just a random collection of stuff all squeezed in together? No, databases are organized. Databases have a structure like table. A database must have at least one table. A table is an organized collection of information. Data is stored in tables. Very simple databases are called flat file databases. They store data in columns of fields and rows of records. Let's think about a simple database that Bob uses to store his address book. This database contains the names, addresses, birthdays and telephone numbers of his friends and family. Bob has met his friend Megan, would like to add her to his address book. He writes down her first name, last name, address, postcode, date of birth and her telephone number. So he can remember to send her a birthday card. The details that Bob writes down are stored in columns in his address book database. These columns are the fields in his database file. The information about Megan fills a whole row in his database file. Each row is called a record. And each of the rows holds information about different persons in his address book. In this video, we have learned what is a database and a need for computer databases.